right, and final game in the find better moves in chess series. Let's just grab here. So we understand what we're, you know, the principles and the concepts that we're trying to work on constantly, improve, trying to improve those base concepts, um, but keeping the base concepts um, as simple as possible within the mantra and anything around the additional supporting mechanisms for these um, systems and styles really it comes back to having a good basic knowledge of what it is that you're attempting to do could push here but it takes the pot so i'm just going to clear clean out house okay they're moving real quick and speed does not impress me so let's just go here with the knight Yeah, so having a good understanding of what it is that you're attempting to do. Shall we just block this pawn for now? And then his pawn drops down and we can go for the bishop. Yeah, let's do that. Yep, yeah, so the drop pawn drops down, so we'll go for the bishop, like we said. I think he's going to drop onto our bishop, put a check on his king. So keeping it simple targeting okay let's just take here so we can take the bishop as well king then is not going to castle okay and i think that's probably about it for that this pawn may cause us a bit of trouble don't overthink it still got the x-ray through for now on the night so oh they're going real quick now let's just go here with the queen okay so they do move i'm actually going to take and he does take, so we're going to take double in the pawns here. And let's go here now, try to improve the position. And let's go for a doubling with the rooks. His rook can come down and protect as well, so he's just going to sit his rook here. Oops, here. Alright, so I'm going to push on to the pawn now. I don't think they'll take because they're will lose their rook so might as well just take now so then he'll take back he's not going to take at all it's interesting times so we do have options we can push onto their pawn but obviously this pawn takes uh, with all pass on so do we want to waste them bullets not too sure so the king is in the game do we need to move um it's an interesting one isn't it it's an interesting one. We could come across. His rook obviously takes. So we're plus one, so we don't need to be greedy really, do we? And we could be plus one still, but it's gonna have a back ranker. So I'm actually going to just bring the king across. Didn't want to rush it. Yeah, like Mr. Speedo here. Okay, so I'm gonna push up. Seeing as they've moved that fast, see if we can get the pawn elevated up. That might have been a missed opportunity, I think. I'm not too sure, but um, so keep, shall we keep pushing? Just get it as high up the board as we want can, and then he goes up. Yep. So now we can put pressure on his king, but he's going to come down for our pawns, isn't he? Hmm. Okay. All right. So we could take this pawn here. And then obviously his rook takes, then our rook takes. Is he better? Hmm. Not too sure about that. So I think we're going to take, you know. I'm going to take this pawn. Yeah, and then I'm going to take his rook. And his rook can come down for our king. And then if we go up, he comes up again. Then he's taking the pawn on the far side. Okay, right, fine, fair enough. He comes down, we go up, we lose the pawn on B. Yep. See, it's not actually doing that, it's just going straight for the pawn on B, okay. And phew, let's might as well go for this one as well. And take this one. 
move this so that he's going to start pushing his pawn down. Maybe not. Maybe he's not. Okay. Oh, he's not. Okay, right. I thought he was going to. He's just going to keep putting checks on. Uh, we're not sure about that. Do, 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 do. Go here, maybe. A tricky situation. Oops. Oh, his pawn's faster than I was, isn't it? His pawn is faster than I was. <laughs> okay yeah don't have a problem with that um i think that was the last one for today um the whole idea is attempting to try and not get any losses really in a, in a game of chess you know um, you try to go for the advantages but um, my time was definitely running down here and I don't think there was I'm just going to have a look at the gauge bar it didn't feel like I had a win per se you know, it's definitely draw. yeah it's zero, 0 yeah so I must have messed up somewhere but I'm not too worried about this particular game actually I'm, I'm feeling okay let's see a quick run through shall we if there's anything major I think it was it just looked it felt a little bit not jumbled up I think we did all right what did we miss I'm just looking to see what we missed it it just felt like one of those ordinary normal games of chess N nothing spectacular um, I, in my head I don't think I did anything majorly wrong this is why I'm like a bit not really wanting to look at the evaluation it just felt normal bit of advantage there bit of advantage there Support. yeah that's nice advantage so we must have messed something up somewhere yeah but I, I just couldn't see it um, blah, 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 blah. look at that it's a huge advantage Boom, boom, boom. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I think it was the dance with these rooks, wasn't it? Oh, we're still winning. So we did something massively wrong. Though it didn't feel like we did, but it's going down, but we're still winning. No, it wasn't too painful, and no, it was like a a slow grind down to a drawn position. I can't see anything majorly, majorly wrong with that. Let's see what it suggests around about here. Yeah, around about here. Let's see what see what it suggests. King e2. So getting the king up into the game rather than the rook coming across. So king e2. 
So the smallest of potatoes, I suppose. Suppose it stops the rook from getting here. And I was looking at greedy munching and just snapping up the rooks. Okay, I think that's the only thing I'll, I can take away from that. Just get the king, stop the rook from coming here. And yeah, fine. But nothing majorly wrong with the game. So that's the series on trying to find your better moves, really kind of like looking at what it is that you're attempting to do on the board, questioning and then using the gut instinct, using your own sort of sensibility and your own feeling about the game. Um, so basically coming full circle in a sense of um, learning about the answer process, the, the mantra, the concepts. Um, all the hidden meanings, the learnings from the evaluations, um, all those types of things there, the logical creative thinking type stuff, all of those types of concepts um, underneath the mantra and basically at the end of the day when it comes down to it it's a feeling that you have when you're playing chess. Each move that you're making you're feeling some type of way about that move and then you're wanting to have a good feeling about the game after it so so long as you're feeling good about the moves that you are making then there's not too much that you can you can't beat yourself up too much afterwards yeah so just keep practicing and and, and start putting in those the feeling aspect get rid of the theory and all this sort of learning stuff that that's learning stuff has helped you to get to this point here as we've done with our answer process that's our kind of theory if you like yeah if you want to look at it in basic terms the answer process is our version of theory and now what we're saying is well we've learned the theory now we need to bring it into our humanized methodologies and concepts and go with the general feeling let's get emotional in there and that is the difference between doing your own version of brilliancy yeah or not doing brilliancy so once you develop that um, emotional content and that general feeling you do see a different type of game and you, hopefully then you'll see more better performances because you're putting in your heart and soul, your humanised heart and soul into the game, not old time theories from long ago, you're not playing somebody else's game. When you do a evaluation after your game, yes you might find that X, Y and Z played that, William Steinitz played that or Paul Morphy played that um, in the year dot, but while you're playing the game right here, right now, it's your game, it's your sensitivity, your feeling about the moves.